Today I spoke to two MUSC students who actually use this road every day to get to and from campus. They tell me the flooding can be a hazard. Sometimes we have to go all the way around because this will just be so flooded. It'll be like two feet of water. The flooding gets really bad. Like even when it doesn't rain, it seems like even when it's high tide, it's like yeah, like two feet of water. Charleston's chief resilience officer Dale Morris says the project will tackle the avenues frequent flooding by researching road levels, sea level rise and the surrounding environment. But even when the roadway is above water, it's not always safe. I know this is a pretty dangerous street too. I know a couple of people have gotten hit coming to and from school. The roads infrastructure is one of the key areas this project will focus on. Morris says it'll need to be more accessible to pedestrians and accommodate more public transportation. It's host it's a hostile environment to people on bikes, people on foot. Frankly, it's it's pretty hostile to people driving as well, but there's a lot of potholes and environmental impacts. Hagat Avenue is a low sitting area that used to be a marsh directly next to a buried landfill. Morris says they'll study water quality in the area to determine if pollution from the landfill is getting into the roadway. And what we want to do is to make sure that whatever water people are having access to sort of touching as they walk by, um, that it's safe for them.